All right, so we're in really deep water, and what's going on is, is there's a ledge here, and on top there's a big, big, shallow, shallow flat that drops in the deep water. Most baits like this, everyone has to throw to the edge of that grass, right? Right where it, the grass starts to drop off, because if not, they won't be able to get their bait back to them. Like most people, you make about three or four cranks, and it hits the grass, and you're bogged down in it. What's cool about this is I can actually see the grass, the, dark, the darkness of the grass underneath there. I can reel like this, I'm already hung up in it, right? But since, and, I, and you see I'm not really, I'll let the fluorocarbon go in. I waited too long, hold on, because it, it sunk. The fluorocarbon sunk, it won't work. So what kind of line, make you talk about what kind of line you want to throw. Okay, yeah. So as I throw that out there over that shallow grass, I can just kind of keep my rod tip up. And if you notice, I'm just kind of like feathering it through there. And what'll happen is, I'm not really jerking it through. If you see me jerk, it's because some grass got hung up and it actually just like broke off on the hooks and you can just pop it thin and get the grass free. But other than that, I can almost sit there and just feather it through that thick, thick, short grass that's right underneath the surface. And a lot of times, I don't think a lot of people realize that there's a lot of fish in that, in that grass. And most of the time, there's only one or two ways to th catch them a swim jig, a fluke. But with this bait, and you'll be really shocked to find out, is that there's a lot of fish that do not want to bite those baits. They want something loud. They want something right underneath the surface, making a lot of noise, and being real erratic, especially this time of year. Um, they want something really erratic, really loud, doing a lot of different, doing a lot of different things. And that's what's pretty cool about this bait. It's flat-sided, okay? So if you look, it looks round, right? But if you look down it, it's got really, really flat sides. So as you're trying to pop that bait, instead of going like this, it's actually turning. It's actually turning like that. So it, it gives off a lot of flash. So we make a lot of different colors in this bait that give off that flash, kind of like a red eye. You know, red eyes, have, we, we do a lot of chromes and golds and stuff like that. You don't see a lot of that on a lot of crankbaits. Um, there's a reason for that, because they don't have flat sides. Since this has flat sides, it makes it really flash and makes it look good. So when you're hung up and you're working it free, it's doing this as it floats up. I'd say nine out of 10 of your bites come as, as soon as it breaks free of that grass. So like I said, I can now throw it out there, kind of work it through that grass. And like I said, you, you'll watch me. I'm not, I'm not jerking like this. I'm just kind of barely, barely warming it through there almost. And that's when they hit it. And now, now that I get free of that mat, which what is what we were, what we were fishing, now I can drop the rod tip, start getting it down there to three and four foot. So I can follow that grass from where it's high to where it's low, you know? And, and that's, that's almost impossible to do with so many baits. You can always fish the deeper stuff, but it's so hard to fish the shallower stuff.